Following on from the previous example, um, what I want you to get used to is the, really the language that is used in the exam an understanding for the binomial, what it means when it's asking for the probability of less than two or more than four, of at least three or at most five. So we want to be able to turn these worded problems into a numerical problem. So this can be done quite easily, uh, making sure that we understand what these things mean. So if I'm looking for the probability of less than two in this case, then I want to be strictly less than 2. So, the probability of x being less than 2 is the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 1. Because it's binomial, it's discrete data, you can't take on uh, values of 1.5 or 1.7. So, anything that's less than 2 can only either be 0 or 1. Okay. So, when we're plugging this into the binomial, into the uh, blue calculator, to the TI-82 stats, then you're wanting to go to binom CDF, then we've got our number, 6, you, we've got our probability, 0 0.4, and then comma, 1. Okay. So, that would be 0 0.23328. So effectively, it's the same thing as adding together 0 and 1. Okay? Adding those two values together gets you the same thing. If you're looking for more than 4, then we're talking about being strictly greater than 4. Okay? So that means we're looking at 5 and 6. So if I'm going to calculate this, with the blue calculator, then the way to get 5 and 6 is to do 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 4. So I have the whole lot of the table, so 1, take away the, these bits that I don't need, those 5 bits, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that will leave me 5 and 6, which is the ones that I want. So if we do 1 take away binom CDF 6, 0.4, 4, then we get 0.04096. And that would be the same as adding those two values together. Then we get onto these problems where we're talking about at least 3 or at most 5. If you were talking about at least 3, then we want at least 3, and then we can have 4, 5, or 6 as well. Okay, so we want nothing that is less than 3. So the, this is the probability of x being greater than or equal to 3. And I can calculate it in much the same way as I did there. Okay, so if I want... 3, 4, 5, and 6, then the bits that I don't want are 0, 1, and 2. So 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 2. So if I do that, 1 take away binom CDF 6, 0, 0.4, 2, then we get 0 0.45568 which would be the same as adding up this, these three numbers here. Then we've got the last one, at most 5. So what could that mean? So I want at most 5 and no more. Okay, That's effectively what that's saying. So I want anything that is less than or equal to 5. Now can you notice that in both of these cases we had uh, distinct, well, uh, inequalities here. So a strictly less than or a strictly greater than. Here we've got greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So keep that in mind. So if I want the probability of x being less than or equal to 5, then I want these 
six probabilities added together, which is the same as one take away the probability of x being equal to six. Okay, so that would be one take away now binob PDF because I want a specific value, a particular value, 6, 0.4, 6, and that's 0.995904, which is exactly the same as finding one take away this number here. Okay? Now, this is going to lead on to uh, further problems in the following video. But it's really, this is all about getting used to the language and making sense of it.